everyone, Emily27 here. I just wanted to make a quick video on what's been going on. So, as you guys have seen, my guinea pig, Sweetie, has passed away. Now, <laughs> this video has taken me a lot to make because this is gonna make me cry. So, um, yeah, I'm already tearing up. But she passed away May 29th. 2024 I don't know what time so what happened was my friend Emma was over um you guys know her she's in a lot of my videos and we were going downstairs to see the guinea pigs because she loves seeing them just as much as I do <laughs> and I asked her because she was going in while I was feeding I was no I think I was giving my cat treat or something and she walks out and she's like Emily, sweetie's laying down and not moving. And the first thing that comes to my mind is, oh, she's sleeping. Like, I didn't want to let my mind go to that state thinking that she's dead. So, um, I can just remember this. I walk in there, and she's laying on her side, which she never does. She's stone cold. She's not moving. She's not breathing. And if any of you guys have lost a pet or lost a loved one and there's an open casket, you know what that looks like. And it's horrifying. I didn't cry. I was in shock. I ran upstairs to my mom and then I told her what happened. I ran up into her room. I remember she was changing. I ran up there and I was like, Mom, sweetie's dead. She looks at me and she says, what? You're not funny. She thinks I'm joking. I say, I'm not joking. And then I start hysterically crying in the hallway. So we get her in a little shoebox. And my videos say 2021. But she, we actually got her in 2020. Or end of 2019. So, yeah. Um, and So, she lived to be four or five. Or, I don't know how old she was when we got her. But she lived a happy life. Um, and I don't know how much more I'm going to be posting of my guinea pigs just because I'm going through a lot right now because I've never lost a pet like that. I've only lost fish and they don't come to you when they call you, when you call their name. You can't pet them. You can't really physically bond with them. Hi, Lou. Hey. Um, sorry guys, my fish. And, um, it was just really hard. I made those videos, and I was crying when I made those. I, there were a lot of tears for the past days. I'm still very upset about it. I just, I don't talk about it. But I knew I was never going to make this video, so I just decided to make it. And so, so she sadly passed away. And we buried her in the backyard. I will put a picture up of her gravesite over here. I planted flowers. We had like a little funeral ceremony for her. I got to pet her and kiss her one last time. And it was just very sad. I hate you. Give me a second, guys. I just... It's just sage and buttercup now. I love them to death. And, but that, that really hurt when I just walked in her cage one morning and she was fine the day before. She was fine that morning when I fed them. And I just walked down there with Emma and Emma goes in first because I was giving my cat a treat. And she's just... <sighs> Dead. Now I know vid I know YouTube's gonna take this video down because I'm saying dead instead of unalive. So I'm sorry about that, but um she's sadly gone. Um I didn't expect her to be the first one. Sage and Buttercup don't really get along. So I'm thinking of separating them, and I really don't want to. What I've noticed with Buttercup is that she's still waiting. Whenever I come in the room or my mom goes in the room, she's waiting there. You can just tell in her face that she's waiting for Sweetie to come back. 
and Sage is just still getting out of her cage, but got, Buttercup won't leave the cage until she knows Sweetie's there. I've noticed that with her. She will not leave the cage now because they can jump out, and I don't know why, but Sweetie never could, which was good, and Buttercup just started doing it before Sweetie died. Now I've noticed that Sweetie's gone. She won't jump out. And every time I go in there, she squeals. And she's looking for her. Because sometimes just when I'm in the kitchen, I can hear her calling out for her. And it's really sad. And I... The first few days, I couldn't go down there. My mom had to feed them because I couldn't go down there without hysterically crying. It's very hard to lose a pet or a loved one. I mean, I've lost loved ones before, but I've never lost a pet. And I've only lost, like, my great-grandparents. And I never really knew them, so it wasn't that tough for me. So, but... Um, my mom got a stuffed animal a few years ago of Sweetie. And this has been helping me get through it a lot. So, yeah, I'm sorry if I won't be posting really anything for a while. I know I go months without posting big videos, but I'll do shorts. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing shorts that much right now because a lot's been going on besides just Sweetie. So, yeah. And with school ending and finals and all that stuff, I don't have much time to do YouTube. But that's, like, my biggest concern is Sweetie. I go out there a lot during the day, and I'll sit there, and I'll talk to her. And I'll cry. And it's really tough for me right now. I'm, I've never lost a pet like that. I've only lost fish and fish or fish. I mean, you don't, you can name them. I name my fish. I mean, some people don't and some people think it's stupid too, but that you can't pet them. You can't love on them. You just feed them and you watch them. So yeah, it's really tough um, right now for me. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know what happened and thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me through this. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and thank you guys so much for your support. Bye.